Hello, welcome to this video on uh, the effect of pH on enzyme activity. Uh, we're going to be looking at the specific example of the protease enzyme trypsin, uh, breaking down gelatin, uh, a protein at a range of different pHs. So first of all, I'm going to take some boiling tubes and a permanent marker and label them with the pH of five different pH buffer solutions. A pH buffer solution is just a solution which will hold the pH at whatever value I desire. And in this case, I'm using pH 1, 4, 7, 10 and 14 to give me a wide range. Uh, the volume of the buffer solution is one of my controlled variables for this um, experiment, so I'm using 20 cm cubed each time, uh, measured using a measuring cylinder. I'm using a clean measuring cylinder each time. Okay, so here is some 3% trypsin solution. I'm going to use 5 cm cubed of that into each tube. Uh, trypsin is a protease enzyme, a protein digesting enzyme, which is normally active in the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, and which is produced by the pancreas. It'll break down proteins into individual amino acid molecules. It's important to make sure the solutions are properly mixed. And then we're ready to go. Now the protein we're going to use is actually uh, from an unusual source. It's on photographic film. Um, so photographic film um, used in old cameras is a sheet of clear plastic. And on one side of the plastic, there's a layer of gelatin protein, uh, which has got some black grains of silver um, incorporated in it. And if we digest the gelatin away using the trypsin enzyme, uh, then the strips will go clear. Now this is a fairly artificial situation. It's just a good way of looking at the digestion uh, of this particular protein. So each of the strips go into a different pH solution here. You can see that at the moment they're completely black and we just start a clock and watch what happens. So after a minute, not very much has happened. The strips are all still black. Um, the reaction's not very fast at room temperature. Uh, we could speed it up by putting in, uh, in a water bath. That would be more realistic, closer to body temperature, maybe of about 40 degrees centigrade. Uh, but then uh, we wouldn't be able to film what was happening in the tubes. After about 16 minutes, we can see the pH 7 tube, the film is starting to go clear. The trypsin enzyme is digesting the gelatin and it's releasing the black silver particles. Uh, the black silver particles are actually turning the solution a slightly darker colour. After 22 minutes, the pH 1 strip is still completely black. The pH 4 strip also appears to be completely black. By comparison the pH 7 strip has now actually gone clear um, and that's finished, that's as far as that will go. The pH 7 strip's gone clear in the middle, but the ends still have some gelatin left. You can see little wisps of the um, digested gelatin and silver salts coming off as it swirls. 
pH 14 still completely black. After nearly an hour, the pH 1 film is still completely unaffected and so is the pH 4 film. The pH 7 film looks just like it did after about 22 minutes. The pH 10 film is finally finished completely. And the pH 14 film is so far unaffected by the trypsin.